Hi guys and welcome back. Um, got a bit of a special one today. When we were at the Werribee four wheel drive Christmas function, we entered a raffle uh, and that raffle was to win a Mike Allman um, CCP 60 um, fridge freezer. Um, I think it was about a 45 to one chance of winning it and we won it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an unboxing of this. Um, it's actually quite an exciting product for me because I did have um, a Waco CFX 65 previously that I sold with my old camper trailer. Uh, and I do regret getting rid of it, it was a great fridge. Um, it was a nice decent sized fridge. Uh, and currently we've been um, making do, if you like, with a 35, um, 35 litre old CF model Waco, which is, don't get me wrong, being perfectly, perfectly fine for us, but is a bit, a bit on the small side. Um, now we do have a, a decent fridge inside the caravan, but a chest freezer is always handy, or chest fridge is always handy. Firstly for the car, just for um, trips out. And secondly, it's always handy to have as a second fridge for the van. Um, sometimes we want it just for drinks. So it's nice to have, um, to be able to lift it outside, stick it under the awning and have it for just drinks. So this will serve that purpose perfectly. So. Um, Thank you to Warrior Before All Drive. Um, I know we all entered, we all had an equal chance of winning, but yeah, thumbs up to this. Anyway, let's take a look and see what you get in the box. Okay. So there we have it, fairly decent size. Apparently it's 32 kilos, so it's, um, yeah, it's reasonably heavy. Obviously, um, it's, there's more metal in these than there is in the Waco, which is why they're uh, probably a little bit heavier. But um, that's not a bad thing when you consider that they can be being bashed around in the back of a four-wheel drive. Um, okay, let's get some scissors and get this box unboxed. Okay, it's time to open it up and see what's going on in there. I would say it's like Christmas, but actually in a couple of weeks, it is Christmas. That was a joke, you could have laughed. It was a dad joke. All right. Could do, scissors, scissors are broke. Could do if you've got a microphone. Do you want a microphone? I've already cut the tape. We're there with the tape. Okay, let's get down on my knees. Get used to that. Big bit of cardboard. Shame we can't burn it, no fires. Hang on to it now until next year. Another big bit of cardboard. Oh, Christmas tree, no lights on it yet. No, happy Christmas. Yeah. Bar humbug. Lots of cardboard. That's well packed then. It is. What you got? Says the bag can be dangerous. Mm. Amber, you want the bag? A bit of fun? Oh, poor Amber. Poor okay. I don't think there's anything else holding it in. Ooh. Nice rubbery top on it. It was quite good quality. Oh my God, it's heavy. Okay. I don't think there's anything of any vital importance in the box. So let's have a quick look around it. Well, looks to me like it can open either way. So it definitely opens that way. And I'm guessing it seems to have the facility. I guess you can swap it over. To lift this off. Yeah, this can be lifted off and put on so it opens the other way because I can certainly see the cutouts here. Nice. So that's good. What we got going on inside? That'll be the power stuff, I would guess. I'll open that in a minute. Um, initial thoughts on it. I actually quite like the way they've separated the baskets which is a lot better than the Waco. So you've got, obviously, 
a lower basket and an upper basket. Whereas with the Waco, it's one basket split into two. Um, and what they've done here is also very clever. You can either load it, obviously as a top basket, lift it out to get to the bottom one. And then Tanya's wine can sit in here. Or your whiskey and Pepsi. Well, you wouldn't have whiskey in there because whiskey well, doesn't Well, you probably really would cold. if it's very hot. Yeah, but wine, generally. It'll be Tanya's wine mm. that'll be in there. So initial thoughts are pretty good. Um, nice quality, it's got a drain drain plug in the bottom there. Um, we'll come around the front here. What's the weight? It's 32 kilos. Mm. So it's not light. It's got a nice display on the front here. Oh, I'm going around that side. Yeah, nice display on the front. Um, obviously you've got your 240 volt inlet and your DC. Um, emergency override. I just don't know what that's for, I'll look into it. USB outlet just there. So you can charge USB devices from it. And I know there's an app that enables you to Bluetooth to this. I'm guessing if you scan there, you'll get the app. Um, that enables you to Bluetooth to this to actually see what it's doing when you're away from the fridge. Um, nice little touch just here I've just spotted. Which is a bottle opener. Right. How good is that? So you got a way to open so your beer bottles. You to put bottle openers everywhere. Yeah. It's just what you need. Never have enough bottle openers. Not always wearing my bottle opening thongs. Let's just open this box and see what we've got. Dogs are very excited by it all. Grace is underwhelmed. Amber wants to know where her dinner is. Uh, Amber wants to know if there's any food in it. That's all she's interested in. Fridges have food in, don't they, Amber? Making a bit of a meal opening that box. Yeah, well, it's, it's not that easy. If I just pull these apart, a stabby stick in there. It's got to be one of these is not cut through. There you go, that one there. Right. Now we're in. There we go. So we have, that's the 12 volt one. And this is the 240 volt one. It's another one of those little sticky things, which we will, let's just scan it and see exactly what comes up. I don't know if I've got a QR code scanner, actually, strangely enough. But I think you can use a camera, can't you? Yeah. Camera. Where is it? It's opening the app there on the top. Did not match any documents. Hmm. Let's try this one. Could try reading the instructions, I guess. Well, that would be a really non blokey thing to do. Yeah. It's usually a last resort. How about if you just put scanner into the search bar and see what comes up? Can I have your phone a moment? Doesn't do anything. Let me just try going to App Store and try my Coolman. Because you never know. Yeah, depends if the internet's ever going to work. Actually, well, it doesn't. There we go. My. We do have the world's slowest internet service. There we go, Michael Coolman. Get. It is now finally starting to load it. And this is, um, this is unfortunately where we live. Where we live, the internet uh, is pretty appalling and very expensive. So they charge us the earth for it and give us nothing. OK, 
Come on. And then what we really need to do is to plug. Yeah, open that. Okay, so let's plug it in. But take the plastic bit off. Ooh, sounds like a fridge, don't it? Mm. So obviously it's currently at 24, so that needs to come down, doesn't it? Um, no, it's not one. It's turbo. Two degrees is normally what I have my beers at. You might have to press a button. Oh no, it's done. That's right. So that's working. Where is it? Down. And that's obviously what it's for. There you go. So the um, okay. So the QR code is to pair your phone to the to the device. Once you've downloaded the app, you just you open the camera, scan it, and um, yeah. So it shows you what it's set at two degrees. That's what I've got it set to, and then it shows you what it currently is at. Um, I don't know what these other ones do. That one would show you, obviously because the mains on doubt and it's showing you anything, but that would normally show what your battery power is. Okay, so you can set all your battery protection. Temperature in Celsius or Fahrenheit. Um, yeah. So there we go. Ultimately, it is a fridge, so there's not too much to say about it. Um, I'm sure it will do the job. Um, but outwardly, it's quite a nice looking fridge. It's a decent size. It's got rubber um, bumpers on the corners to protect it from damage. Top and bottom. Top and bottom, yeah. It's got a steel section around the sides. Now the idea of this steel section is you can buy, um, you can buy a power pack for this, which enables it to work when you lift it out the car. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on how long it runs for, but I'm pretty sure it's a good few hours. So in the event of you wanting to go to do a, a picnic somewhere with this one, the um, power pack is ma magnetic and sticks to the side, uh, and you just run your cord to it, and yeah, it powers the fridge while it's out of the car. So you can take it as, a, as an esky, if you like, um, and it will keep it controlled. What's that? That's the little thing for the 12 volt. So that is... Yeah, so it looks like the power can go either end. So, because you've got a 12 volt this end as well. So it looks to me as though this has got the advantage of being able to be powered from the front or the back, which actually is quite handy. In a lot of cases with the Wacos, with only having one socket, I have noticed that sometimes it's in the wrong place. You have to have the fridge the other way around, which then means that your display is not readable from the side you're pulling the fridge out. So yeah, there are sometimes issues where that's, that's quite handy. Anyway, I'm going to get it, leave this powered up because we'll be using this at the weekend. Mm. Thanks for watching. Um, give us a thumbs up, like and subscribe. And I'll give you updates on this to let you know how it goes. Thanks for watching. See ya.